Hello there everyone, this is Seb, aka the Halfline Gamer and I welcome you to my next playthrough on this channel. Now this one will be a bit different from my usual Let's Plays because, like normally, it's not just me who has worked on this little project. Oh no, there's a whole slew of YouTubers and even some family members of them who have helped me on this one. So first of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of these awesome people for lending me their voice and bringing the game more to life by adding voices to all of the NPCs. Uh, as it turned out, I really like what it became and I think it's, it's really awesome and as I said, it just brings the game to life, I think. So I am very excited for this project and I'm very much looking forward to how the response is from you guys. So uh, as you explore the videos as they become available, do please let me know what you think of this uh, little idea. And with that, I would like to welcome you to the very first of these kinds of series on my channel. Let's all play in uh, the Battle of Olympus on NES. Awesome little game, one of my favorites on the system actually. It's a game developed by a very small Japanese company called Infinity, who are still around actually today. However, unfortunately this game didn't really do all too well. So this was their first and also at the same time the final attempt of ever doing a original IP. Which seeing the quality of the game is a real shame, but yeah, it, it happens. There was basically no marketing for the game at all, uh, so no one even knew it existed and those who did find it uh, quickly brushed it off as being a bit of a ripoff of another game which came out a year prior called Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. And as we will explore, yes, there are a lot of similarities, but I feel that the game stands on its own uh, two legs firmly and does a lot of things differently enough to really stand out as a quality Nintendo game. And in my honest opinion, I actually prefer this game over Zelda 2, but uh, really they're both good games, don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, I, I slightly prefer this one. So, as this is a new kind of project, I do want to mention a few things, um, because I had to do things a bit differently. Uh, one of these is that these let's, this Let's Play was pre-recorded, so my voiceover is added later, so I wouldn't interfere with all of the uh, voices from the people who are actually sending in the voices. Also, as I recorded it, I recorded it through emulation, because I have a poll system and that runs so much slower than the NTSC version in this game, as at least. It is not poll optimized at all, even though it took like two years for us to even get it from the uh, American release. So I recorded it through emulation, however I did not use any of the fancy emulation features. I did uh, do my best to keep the aspect ratio as it should be. So, you know, it should be as genuine as possible and there's no safe states coming or whatever. It's just a normal playthrough as you should have it on the NES. Uh, having said that, what is with pretty much all of my Let's Plays, uh, you can use this series as a walkthrough as well because I always do these things with a plan and there is no tedious backtracking and finding out where to go next and such. Uh, I, I did have a plan and um, yeah, if that goes really smoothly, I will leave to you to discover. But uh, I do promise you that there is no tedious uh, searching, uh, aimless searching. Um, so yeah, in the description I will also mention what items I've picked up and all that good stuff. So, you know, you can easily find your way uh, as it were. Also, if you find any adv advertisements on the videos, do let me know because uh, my aim is to not have any advertisements on the videos at all because it's a community project There shouldn't be any ads, so I'm not adding any and I would like to uh, Find out that YouTube or whatever whoever also doesn't add any <laughs> So if you find any do let me know please now this game is based on Greek mythology Which is a huge plus for me. I uh, love Greek mythology. So you know, it's awesome uh, perhaps through the series I will try and also give some background info on some of the myths that we will encounter because there is a lot of myths that we will encounter uh, but generally the game is based on the story of Orpheus and Eurydice um, 
Eurydice being the girlfriend, having died, and Orpheus going into Hades to get her back. And then at the end, sadly, kind of succeeding and kind of failing. But hey, that's all for the game, right? <laughs> well, if it's an accurate telling, who's to say? But um, yeah, we have to actually name Orpheus and Eurydice in the game. Um, and there's a sixth character limit, so I had to come up with different names. Uh, for Orpheus, I have named him Xenos, or Xenos, or Xenos, however you want to name him. I think the original Greek uh, uh, pronunciation is actually Xenos, but don't hold me to that. Um, and Xenos is like the wanderer, the, 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 the foreigner, the unknown person, can be a friend, can be a foe, can, he's just unknown, a person who's traveling and I thought that was fitting. Now Eurydice on the other hand, the manual actually calls Helena, I don't know why but it, it just something that happened in the translation, I don't know, whatever. Uh, however, I opted for the name Erina and Erina is named after a classical Greek poet, one of the very few Greek female poets uh, who, who have some works which are still kind of left over but there's very little left over but what's left over you can um, read that she did write about loss uh, of a loved one so you know that's kind of felt fitting as well and just made a bit of a connection and gave interesting names that actually had a bit of relevance to the story I guess um, but yeah, it was searching. <laughs> but anyway, with the names out of the way, we have Xenos and Arena. Um, I will not go into detail on a lot of the ancient Greek pronunciations because my Greek is just not good enough. Um, but perhaps sometimes I will try and make a fool out of myself. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's actually dive into the story of the game proper and see what it's all about. This is an ancient story of a time when men and gods lived together. In the land of Peloponnesus there was a quiet, peaceful village called Elise. It was the home of the fairest maiden of all of Peloponnesus and a gentle yet brave young man called Xenos. Irina and Xenos swore eternal love to each other, but alas, one day, Irina fell victim to the fangs of a venomous serpent and perished. Xenos grieved over her death for three days and nights whereupon he heard the voice of Aphrodite, the goddess of love. I have watched over your love and know of the deep grief you now feel. But do not give up hope, Irina has not really passed away. Hades, the god who rules the netherworld of Tartarus, has taken away the soul of Irina so that he can make her his queen. The power of Hades is great and he has many fearsome henchmen in Tartarus. The only way I can help you save Irina is to suggest that you look for the three nymphs. They will guide you on your way to Tartarus. If your love for Irina is true, Xenos, Go now and save her. As Xenos sets out on his quest to rescue Irina, our quest begins. And that's about it for this little setup of the playthrough. I hope you will really enjoy it and please let me know what you think. Now if you want to continue on to the first video of the playlist, assuming that it's been uploaded, you can find it over there. Now if you prefer the playlist without my voice, it's over there. Unlisted play playthrough right there. And there's one more thing actually, because you see this cartridge here? It's a double, so I need to get rid of it. Do you want it? If so, let me know. Comments down below. Just state that you want it and you will be entered into a drawing. Now for every video in which you put down a meaningful comment, meaning you know more than three words, like I like this, not very meaningful, you know? <laughs> So, you know, for every video you leave a meaningful comment in the playthrough, you will get another, another chance. So, at the end, once the credits have rolled, I will draw a winner at random, and uh, he or she will get this game sent to uh, their doorstep. Now, do keep in mind that this is a Paul copy, it's Paul B, like mainland Europe, and uh, if you can play this, however, wherever you live, I have no problem shipping internationally. So. You know, if you want it in the US, no problem. Or Australia, they can actually use, make more use of it for that matter, I guess. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this little opening and yeah, as I said, enjoy the playthrough. And thank you very much in advance for watching. 
So, see you on the other side. Till then, later.